Langflow is a great way to build AI applications, including agents, MCP servers, and more, while rapidly iterating using the Visual IDE. In our discussion today, we're going to look at how you can host this so you can expose it over an API and use it in any user interface. And to start with, let's just take a look at Langflow running locally. This is Langflow running locally via this command, docker run port 7860, 7860 Langflow. If you run this command right now, you'll get Langflow running locally like this. This is just local Langflow. And we start a new flow, maybe a basic prompting flow, and that's it. I'm ready. All I need to do is paste an API key and I can chat with this. I can go to the playground and say hello to a chatbot. But if I want to publish this and maybe expose API access, this is only local. So I can't expose this over the internet. Look, it's it's on 0000, which is um, a local host address. This is a loopback address, but it's very similar to local host. This is not going to be accessible over the internet. In this video, we're going to look at how we can expose this over the internet so you can use it anywhere you want. To start with, well, let's take a look at a GitHub repo that makes deploying Langflow or hosting Langflow very easy. So this is the repo you're going to want to pay attention to. Uh, Datastacks slash host Langflow on GitHub. It's open source and public. And um, it has instructions, but we'll just walk through it here. What you're going to do is fork this immediately. As soon as you fork it, you'll have your own fork that you can bring to deployment platforms like Flight Control, Render, and more. Let's start by using Flight Control. Flight Control is a wrapper on Amazon Web Services or AWS, and they deploy straight to AWS, but with a nicer developer experience. It's like a nice UI on top of AWS. And the benefit of this is you don't pay very much. You just pay for AWS and you get a nice UI in front of it. It ties together all the IAM rules and all the EC2 machines and everything and just gives you a deployment. So let's start there. What we're going to do is go to our dashboard and flight control and um, we are going to get started. So we'll create a project and we're going to say we connect to our GitHub repository that is our fork. So this is a fork that I just created. It was Datastacks, now it's TagesQ slash host Langflow. And we're gonna choose our GitHub repository, TagesQ slash host Langflow. When I click on this, I have to enter some settings. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna choose my AWS account, which is this one. And I'm gonna deploy it in EU Frankfurt because I'm based in Germany. It's just easier, faster that way. So now you can choose a bunch of presets. We're going to build our own uh, because we're using Docker. And we're going to build a web server. And here is where we have to fill in some stuff. So this is going to be a Docker file. And then we need to um, enter a port. So the internal port for Langflow is 7860. The health check path is slash health. Um, and we're going to make sure all our configuration looks. We don't have to do anything else. That's it. And we add the service. Um, we just need one service, really, which is this two gigabyte Fargate instance. So we're going to create this project. And it's going to create a way. And in about 12 minutes, we're going to have Langflow deployed to AWS. Provision, night six minutes left, but it looks good so far. So we're going to leave that. It's still provisioning with one minute to go. And honestly, this is the this is the thing that's the trickiest with AWS. AWS tends to be cheaper, better at scale, but somewhat slower to provision. Um, when it, it looks like it's just finishing up though. So we're almost there. Um, as soon as it's done, we're going to have Langflow deployed on AWS as well, and we can take a look. But let's let's just stop and watch this for a second. So I'm just going to come here and watch. Okay, are you ready? Well, here, this is now deployed to AWS. And if we zoom out a little bit and zoom in over here on this CloudFront link, we click there and we have Langflow running on AWS. Let's create our first flow, basic prompting, and publish this with API access. And there we have a HTTPS CloudFront URL. Um, just like that, we just filled out a form. This is how you can make Langflow accessible over the internet and build great things. If you're wondering about what you can build with Langflow, well, this YouTube channel has a lot of suggestions about that. We also have a blog and social media. Follow us on X and Discord. There's links under the like button for ideas about what you can build and now what you can expose over the internet as MCP servers, AI agents, or more. We can't wait to see what you build and we look forward to being part of the conversation. See you next time.